That is quite the sandstorm. storm. Wow. Uh, but here, yeah. we're having a bit of a storm, it looks like, behind you there. And mm -hmm. weather with the wind. We've got a lot of wind getting yeah. ready to kick A windstorm mm -hmm. with a clean air mass. <laughs> a clean air mass. Let's Thank goodness for that, positive. hey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in likely, uh, the storm was just arriving this morning when T Doug took this photo in the central interior. It's a winter wonderland out there again, isn't it? And Sue Mark took this about an hour ago. She said, I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty worried about that 50-foot pine that's dancing over her house. Looks like Sue is still you know, powered up, she's still online, but there are many power outages, in fact, thousands across the province. The latest number, this was as of 12.15, because they're always changing these numbers. It's the lower mainland and the Sunshine Coast that's seeing the uh, most amount of customers off the grid at over 28,000. The Central Interior, 1,300. Thompson's Shoe Swap, 662 people without power, all thanks, or you would, one would assume, thanks to all of these winds. Now, it looks quite calm here, from the Wall Center Hotel Tower Cam. You can see it's shaking a little bit, but the winds, the worst is yet to come as far as the winds go. Eight degrees, gusts of 46K not long ago. And they're going to be picking up. In fact, near the water, we could be seeing gusts closer to 90 kilometers per hour. Areas marked in red of note. That is a wind warning. In the gray, this is a weather advisory of the winds. Yeah, they're going to be very strong as well, potentially damaging. And again, we're going to be likely seeing some more power outages associated with that. As we zoom out, we still have the weather warning, the snowfall warning in effect in the northeast of the province. 10 centimeters of snow by day's end. And this over here is something we don't see all too too often. A flash freeze warning for tonight in the West Columbia region. Temperatures are going to be plummeting, dropping like a rock, and that's going to obviously freeze a lot of the surfaces. We do have a fair amount of precipitation moving into the region. It's going to freeze on contact, so travel is not advised. Okay, so this is still this evening. I showed this graphic earlier today, and I just want to uh, bring that to your attention, that it's still going to be very windy tonight. And we, I, it doesn't look like the winds are going to be easing until well into the overnight hours, and it's also very, very windy through the southern interior. I showed you Sue Mark's video there. Even Thompson, uh, sorry, uh, Kamloops could see gusts of about uh, 80 kilometers per hour. Okay, to the summits we go, the Coquihalla Summit. You can barely see what's going on here because the snow is falling. 10 to 20 centimeters of snow will have fallen by days end over there, as well as Paulson Summit to Kootenai Pass. Highway 1 as well in the east, heavy snow up there. Tomorrow, it's going to calm down for most of us. Just a few flurries left in the east. Here's how it unfolds for you in the piece. So areas to the south of Fort Nelson, it's just a, a few flurries here and there. Two is your high, but temperatures are falling this afternoon. You'll notice that. Minus five in Whitehorse, also it's a chance of flurries. Things are going to subside for you over the north coast. It's still a chance of rain this afternoon, but for the most part, we're going to be looking up to mainly cloudy skies. We've got a little bit of snow, a little bit of rain in the central interior. Some areas may even see a clearing closer to Prince George and north of that. We have rain in the Columbia and the Kootenai region. The Columbia picks up two to four centimeters of snow to Tonight, Thompson, Okanagan, we talked about you. It's windy. We've got mainly cloudy skies and a chance of precipitation over here. Whistler Village, it's 5 to 10 centimeters of wet snow today. Tomorrow, clearing out beautifully. Very windy all up and down Vancouver Island. Periods of rain ending this afternoon. Then we're clearing out with a really solid forecast moving forward after today's windstorm. All right, one more thing to mention before we wrap things up. Stephanie Lacey of Powell River turns 100 today. And Ruth Rodine of Oliver, 107 years young today. Congratulations. Congratulations and happy birthday. Thanks, Kasha.